Hi Libra, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of July the 27th to August the 3rd. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel. It's your loyalty and all the subscribers coming into me, leaving wonderful uh, kind and optimistic comments on these videos for me that keeps me returning every week and for you I'm truly blessed and thank you for that. The first of the week, Monday, you've been given a major card, my friends, and that major card you've been given is the wheel card, and it's all about changes coming in right now. They're occurring right now in your life, and uh, whether they're big or small changes, know that uh, they will work out well for you. Old blocks are lifting right now, and things are now moving forward for you. Um, it talks about rapid advancement for some of you, is likely, and it's a card of good luck balance, karma, miracles, and a twist of fate. It's your destiny card, my friend. It's a time for positive change. So, fortune's on your side, my friend. On Tuesday, the two of fire. And the two of fire refers to uh, some of you coming into your own right now. And there may be situations you're dealing with in your life right now that have to do with partnerships or contracts. And you, it will be a move forward, and you need to continue to move forward doing this. Wednesday, three of air, my friends. And the air cards, as you know, have to do with uh, the legal system, the justice system, communications, or any of those intellectual parts of our lives that concern us and sometimes worry us. This particular one refers to as... Uh, great sadness right now in some of your lives and you need to take all the time that is required to heal you. We all heal differently and at different rates. Um, you need to forgive others and yourself right now when you're dealing with this sadness. On Thursday you've been given an earth card and this particular earth card uh, is telling me that some of you are concerned about money. You have a fear. You have fears surrounding money right now in your life, and you need to accept the wisdom of other people around you. So perhaps you're going to go to your employer and discuss your money issues, or your investment uh, um, uh, person, or a lawyer, or um, a lending institute. So you need to know that uh, you need to accept the wisdom of others to help you in this uh, this situation around money right now. For some of you, you're self-employed and you're uncertain about your self-employment as well. So seek out that help and the wisdom of someone else. On Friday, my friend, you've been given the night of water. And this is a great card because this is the falling in love card, my friends. And some of you may be getting a proposal and getting engaged. And some of you actually are in the process of walking down that aisle very, very soon. Um, but know that there's a need when you make this profound choice and decision in your life, this life-changing leap of faith, that you need to have everything balanced, mind, body, and soul, when it comes to uh, dealing with uh, and uh, this type of situation and this event in your life. Um, for others that aren't getting engaged, that perhaps are not going to get married uh, right now at this time, know that you're going to get an invitation to such an event. On Saturday, my friend, an air card. And this particular air card, and you've got three of them in this reading right now, and again, you know what I told you, what they're about. Uh, it's, it's showing me, that, and again, I like to show this card because this is what I call the locking horns card. This is about being unable or unwilling to make a decision in your life right now. You're at a stalemate. You've kind of, uh, uh, you know, you've locked your horns with a situation or someone else. And uh, to the point where, you know, they or you are pretending that there isn't a problem. So uh, that is just a heads up for right now um, with you making this decision. On Sunday, the end of the week, my friend, this is the Queen of Air, and she's all about decisions in your life and doing them objectively. She's all about you clearing out what no longer serves you, whether it's people around you, whether it's a situation around you, whether it's a relationship you're in, you're going to clear out things, or physically cleaning out things in your home or in your life or at work or whatever. But anyway, you're going to get rid of things and clear out things that no longer serve you. But when you're doing it, you're going to sit back and smile and almost go, and you're going to do it with humor. 
At the end of the week, my friend, I did incorporate that one oracle card again for you. And I usually use uh, Doreen Virtues, as you know, all her angel and her oracle decks. And I usually use the healing oracle. But today I decided to choose uh, her um, Ascended Masters. And I love this oracle deck as well. And what they've given for me today for you is Retreat into Nature. This is all talking all about how we can all go outside and, and take a deep breath of fresh air. When things get a little trying to us and things are getting a little bit uh, out of balance, we can rejuvenate ourselves and bring ourselves into balance just by going into Mother Earth, and there's so much healing doing that. It's also about some of you that perhaps are physically working outdoors with nature, and um, it's quite an interesting uh, card. Um, some of you have the desire to take a vacation, and nature comes into play, whether you go to the ocean or whether you go on some sort of a hiking retreat or whether you're going to go on a vision quest somewhere. You're going to be in nature, and you have that desire um, some of you, your life purpose has to do with environmental uh, issues and nature. Um, and some of you actually work with nature, maybe florists, you may be working with flowers and plants and crystals and things like that. Some of you may actually be working with herbs to help other people's health in the medicine department and other natural healing methods. Um, it's communicating with Mother Nature. It's communicating with animals and trees and uh, and other spirits of nature, my friend. I hope that this brought some benefit and some interest into your week, and I thank you again for tuning in. I leave you again with another quote, and the quote I chose today is, we can always choose to perceive things differently. We can focus on what's right in our life, or we can focus on what's wrong in our life. It's all about the law of attraction, and you need to focus on what you want not what you don't want. If you should want a reading with me, a private reading, my website is www.brendatarot.info. Hope to see you soon for a private reading. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. I'll see you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friends.